know, we know, we know. All right, all right, all right, all right, listen up, listen up. We're having a celebration tonight at Butter. Brody Jenner's gonna be there. <laughs> and most of you are on the list. Yeah. You're the best. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna say something right now. We couldn't do our job if it weren't for you guys doing all the paperwork, answering the phone. All the gunfights, all the car chases, all the sex we don't want to have with women, but we have to all do to what you guys do. Thank you. And we do it again and again. Hey, 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 hey you shut your face. If we want to hear you talk, I will work your mouth like a puppet. You hear me? Cash bar. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out. I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and eat you. OK, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you'd placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20-foot waves, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full-grown 800-pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends, you lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of ten. So did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. You don't want to bug to me about you? What? I'm pretty sure you've never voted. No, I vote. Sports Radio, AM 880, play of the week. You're like a child in a leather jacket. That's what you're like. Get out of the way, man. Wait, are you David Urshan? <sighs> yeah, well, it's Sir David Urshan, but I might not bother with you yet. So anyway, a little bit of a rush, gentlemen, if you don't mind. Thank you. Excuse me? I think you're under arrest, OK? What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can be used. Um, what's the next part? As a flotation device. As a flotation device. Oh, you know what? That's very funny. I've never Miranda would anyone before. Really? Are you guys for real? Is, am I being punked? Suits on. Oh. Hi. Hi. You must be Terry. I'm sorry I've been hiding, honey, but this dinner was tricky. Oof. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sheila Gamble, his wife. Come on, seriously, who is that? His old lady. Sweetie. It's a workstation. Got it. When you come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. I'm so sorry. <laughs> come on. Seriously. Come on what? Who is that? The blue and white found your firearms down by the Hudson River. Here you go, Terry. You know what? I'm going to hang on to the wooden gun. To give you back my real gun? No. We're going to give you this. It's a rape whistle. You blow that if you're in any trouble, and someone, actual gun, will come and help you out. <laughs> 